Instagram video is a funny thing. If you're used to uploading on YouTube, you're always working in a 16 by 9 ratio probably. But on Instagram, you have some different video ratios to work with. Yeah, so instead of 16 9, which would look like this, pretty small in this frame, you can do a 5 by 4, which is like this. It's almost square. And you can do square, which as you can see, it's using more of the screen than the other size of video. And you can also do a 4x5 video, which you can see gives you the most real estate. You can't do a 9x16, the really tall vertical video, unless you use the Instagram TV app, but then your videos have to be between 1 and 15 minutes long, whereas on a standard post, they can't be more than 1 minute long. So let's take a look at the supported aspect ratios. So here we have standard HD resolution. It's a 16x9 aspect ratio. We can also do a 5x4, so it's not as wide as 16x9, but it does give you a slightly larger image in the Instagram app. You can do a square 1 to 1 ratio, which gives you even more real estate on that screen. You can also do a 4x5 video, which is taller than it is wide, so this gives you even more real estate on that screen. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to output those video resolutions in DaVinci Resolve. Here in DaVinci Resolve, I have a little segment that I've been working on. This is stuff that I shot at a convention in Florida. And this is just standard 16 by 9 ratio video. The first thing you want to look at are your settings. You can go down here, this little gear icon, or hit Shift 9, and uh, look at your master settings. So this is the easiest way to output video for the various Instagram resolutions. So I'm going to set this to custom, and then do this at 1350 by 1080. Uh, keep everything else the same here. And then go to your image scaling, so right here, Im input scaling, scale entire image to fit, and then I'm matching the timeline settings for the output scaling. Let's hit save. So all it did was just crop my viewing port here to that 1350 by 1080, so that's the 5 by 4 ratio. This is a ratio I like to use a lot. And so when you go to the output page, you're going to get that size of video. So there's no guessing here, it's not going to do any weird scaling. The scaling is already being performed here in your timeline. So what it's done is, if you see I have some scaling on here already, if I reset this, it scaled my footage to fit inside this box. So all I did was scale it up so that I didn't have any black bars. And plus, I didn't need all of this on the outside, not for Instagram anyway. So I'm just filling that frame with my image. The nice thing about this is it fills the screen, and you can also move your image left and right now because you have all that play on the left and right side, so you can get your image centered where you want it for that little 5x4 frame here. And then like I said, when I go to output, I will have exactly what I see here on my output. And my output settings look like this. I have one 5x4 social media 1080, and I'm just basically matching my timeline resolution here. Except this should be at 23, but that's, I shot this at 23976. So 1350 by 1080. And I said add to render queue, and hit render. Now if you wanted to do square, again go back to your settings here, and just 1080 by 1080, and that's square. And then once again, you have to apply some zooming here to get that to fill that box. But now you have an image that's going to take up more real estate in the um, Instagram app. As you can see, square takes up a large portion of the screen compared to a 16 by 9, which is almost half the size, half the vertical height. Now the reason why I'm doing all my resolutions near 1080 is because Instagram doesn't do any video greater than 1080. And on top of that, the compression is pretty poor, so it doesn't look very good. So it doesn't really make any difference if you upload a video that's greater than 1080. You can actually use uh, resolutions around 2700 or even 3000 or whatever you want to do. But Instagram is going to scale that down to around 1080, so you're going to lose all that resolution anyway. Thanks for checking out this video. Uh, I usually make cosplay music videos and equipment reviews. I'll have more of that coming up in the future, so please hit that like and subscribe button, and hit that little notification bell if you want to know when I post my next video. Thanks!